about the rest of the audience, but to me, that sounds pretty darn important. It says, actually, that the community in which you live recognizes that your life has made a real difference in a good, positive way. The next recipient deserves this award because of three distinct areas, family, work, and courage. This person is a transplant from Illinois, just like me. He came to Madeira by way of Southern California, and I think his first lifetime achievement was to meet and marry a beautiful and intelligent lady named Marty back in 1983. That union resulted in three amazing children. Jared, who's with us tonight, Courtney, the beautiful one, and Cam Man, the Cameron. The outstanding, the outstanding young adults that these three have become would probably be enough to qualify this person for a lifetime achievement award. But the boy did a little work around town too. From executive director of the Chamber of Commerce to the director of economic development for Madeira County to his last home, the executive director of the Madeira Redevelopment Agency. This person has torn down more old and helped to create so many of the good things that this city and county of Madeira can celebrate over the last 25, maybe 30 years. He provided infrastructure and incentives for job creators. He built affordable housing with sidewalks and street lights that made safe route to schools for the kids of Madeira, especially those on the east side. Yeah. It was redevelopment money that was created by this person that funded a brand new police facility for the city of Madeira. It built a beautiful new youth center. And in his spare time, we charged him with managing the graffiti abatement team, and we dumped code enforcement right in the middle of his life. And we also said, oh, in your spare time, go out and put some land deals together with incentives that will bring Rancho San Miguel Shopping Center to the Yosemite Tozier area for our city. And, and oh, by the way, let's, let's gather up some land so we can put a new impressive courts facility in downtown Madeira, right where it belongs. Yeah, those, those things might qualify him for a Lifetime Achievement Award. But the thing I think that qualifies him the most is the courage I've seen in this man over the last year. And that's the most compelling reason for his recognition. He was stricken with deadly cancer. But along with his beautiful wife and loving family, and aided by thousands of prayers from the people he has worked with and touched here in this city, he fought, and he's winning the battle. And I know that qualifies him. friendship. It's 
my honor and pleasure to introduce the next 2016 Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Mr. Jim Tuller. When, when 
you're in the public sector, you need good staff around you. And I've had it with the Chamber of Commerce. I had uh, Patty Thorne, and with all due respect, Cindy, my assistant was Shirley Suttet. She was pretty darn good, too. <laughs> <laughs> EDC, Patty Thorne again, uh, Shirley Triggs, and then with the Redevelopment Agency, uh, Sandy Brown and Bob Wilson. And so thank you. <laughs> and I would be remiss if I didn't say that this has been a tough year. But thanks to the many prayers for this community, uh, we have beat cancer, uh, and, and we hope that this isn't a retirement deal, as Roger said in the newspaper. <laughs> We're too young. We've still got a lot more to do. Uh, with that, I thank you uh, and, and, and very much for this honor. It's really great to be